Hello everybody and welcome to Robot Wars Reborn Rematches. Now I know this is episode 10, I'm not drunk, there's a little bit of a story behind it, I'll put it in the description. Um, but it's time for a battle of the flippers with Bamoth and Bigger Brother. Number 2 seed Bigger Brother was fresh off losing the grand final to Razor in Series 5, and he started off Series 6 pretty well. With the second round matchup against the very well known Behemoth, he took him out with a very impressive maneuver towards the pit. Well shit, I've already called him Bearmoth and Behemoth, we're gonna try Behemoth for this episode. So speaking of Behemoth, here is a version that Doodle created. We're gonna try and test out a couple new fan builds of Behemoth that are way better than what I had, and Doodle's is gonna be first. He's very, he's doing a very good job here. He's got six wheels in there, I think only four are motored. He's used component freedom to get a lot of the stuff in there. He's got a very powerful scoop that can really flip. It's a very good bot. And in case I haven't shown Bigger Brother in a while, I don't even know what's changed in this robot, but here's a look at what Bigger Brother's got going for him. I think I might adjust those motors at some point, because he is kind of slow, as you'll see when I put him in the testing area. Um, but yeah, not much different with him. It's Bigger Brother. There he is. Hemel Hempstead in Hertfordshire. Bear -Mark. From Brighton, Bigger Brother. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. So fight one between the Battle of the Flippers, Behemoth, and Bigger Brother. Both will have a very similar strategy, so it'll be interesting to see who does what to gain the advantage. And, well, is there an advantage to gain? Both weapons hitting head-on and no one able to get purchase on each other. We could be in for a very long series if that is the case. Behemoth trying to get to the side of Bigger Brother's flipper with not much luck. Bigger Brother very low ground clearance. Oh, but it's been exploited there! Behemoth getting under him and both bots near the drop zone. This could be very problematic! Oh! And Bigger Brother right on the head! Taking a refrigerator! Major damage! And what a maneuver from Behemoth to get the half flip that had Bigger Brother slightly imbalanced and not on his wheels and he couldn't get away! And Bigger Brother retaliating with a, with a flip of his own! Still think Behemoth was better. And now he retaliates! Oh, and I think he broke off! He did! He's broken off part of Bigger Brother's flipper! with the axe and now bigger brother flipped again and dangerously near the angle grinder which now is in effect and loads of damage being caused bigger brother really struggling all of a sudden behemoth pushing him back and toppling him back onto the angle grinder and bigger brother flips himself away this is very impressive stuff from behemoth and now he's got the confidence to go for the pit release that could be a lifeline for bigger brother we've seen him utilize the pit to his advantage in real life with that amazing fight against Hypnodisc. Behemoth charging again at the very wary looking Bigger Brother now. With part of the flipper damage, with serious chassis damage, flipped again, but able to self right no problem despite the flipper damage. It'll probably affect his attack more than his defense, but his attack hasn't been the best either. His defense. It's just barely keeping him in this fight. Behemoth under him again. Shoving him back towards the drop zone. I don't think we can use that again. Well, what was that? Bigger Brother shocked there. Hitting into the, is that the refrigerator is causing damage to Bigger Brother? And Behemoth takes advantage and jumps him in it for the knockout. Well, that was peculiar. Well, that was very very odd like I, I, I don't know what to say about that how, how does that happen how does the fridge damage him like that I mean yeah behemoth he was already in he was probably already gonna win the fight but Jesus what a way to win it Three, two, one. and time for match two between the two flipping robots behemoth winning the first match and going for the pit immediately and then he's under bigger brother immediately and early gets a big flip 
and takes control of the fight again, just like he did last time, and there he goes again towards the drop zone. He figures if it ain't broke, why fix it? His very good strategy last time winning him the fight. And their bigger brother getting a flip in retaliation to make it 1-1 early on. You gotta love these flipper versus flipper battles. It can easily change the momentum with just one flip from whatever bot is struggling. These two bots have had a very hard time getting under each other the whole uh, series so far. Bigger Brother with a missed flip, and Behemoth doing one as well. Oh, and he's, is he gonna get- Oh, he's shoved him in the pit! Cease. He didn't need to get under him, he threw him right in! Who needs to exploit the ground clearance when you can just push the bot into the pit? Behemoth didn't even need to do anything there besides get the good shove that he needed, and he's won the series. So, there's one Behemoth that looks pretty good. Maybe he'll be the one in the Robot Wars Reborn Cup, I don't know yet. We still got Thread of Lengths to test. But yeah, let me and Doodle know what you thought of his recreation below. These after video questions get harder to think of, but let's try this one. What could Behemoth have done differently in that fight to beat Bigger Brother? Because he started off well, he got a couple good flips. Was there anything they did wrong, you think? Have your say below. And if you want to see more from each recreated design, check out Robot Wars Reborn on the channel. Behemoth appeared in Episode 9, and Bigger Brother appeared in Episode 2. Also check Bigger Brother out in the first of the rematches series against Hypnodisc. Thanks for watching, have a good day. Bomb down. Firestorm. Robotiers, stand by.